The struggles of the pandemic and vaccine mandates have caused many nurses to look into other fields of work, and that's bad news for families who need their services the most. Denver 7 Sloan Dickey spoke to a family working around the clock to care for their newborn. This is Olivia. Olivia is a medical miracle. She was born on December 8th at only 27 weeks, um, so about three months early. And a bubbly one at that. Olivia is actually the happiest baby. Um, she's very curious, she's smart, um, she's really strong-willed. With critically underdeveloped lungs, her parents, Catherine and Gary, didn't know if she would even make it out of the hospital. I would say the first seven months, she was fairly unstable. Um, and then we kind of came through the darkness and started figuring out um, the care plan that she needed. But now she's rolling and crawling around at home with some special assistance from machines like this. This is her ventilator. Yeah. We literally have turned what should be our dining room into a NICU. A NICU at home. She needs someone awake 24 hours a day. There isn't a single nurse to accommodate the in-home care Olivia needs. So the life-saving 24-7 <laughs> job falls on them. Good girl. And so we do shifts. Um, so at night, I do the first shift and Catherine does the second shift. So we switch at 2 a.m. Nursing shortages at major hospitals create even more severe shortages of nurses who do in-home care. The shortages existed before the pandemic. Now the Knights say it has become impossible to find anything close to in-home medical assistance. They say it takes a village. So they reached out to their online village to see if anyone could help. And the response has been unbelievable. There are so many families out there that are going through the same struggle. Their posts shared more than 500 times with lots of support. We have had so many people reach out. But they still haven't found a nurse. I go back to work on October 25th. Whatever happens, they're thankful Olivia's home and getting better. Things have turned for us, um, hopefully. <laughs> and thankful to have an online village helping to find a solution. Now, all of a sudden, um, we have a community kind of rallying behind Olivia. And maybe, just maybe, a way to get this miracle baby the care she needs. Yay! Yay! Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.